Hi everyone, I'm Tanas from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of July 7th. Before I get into the forecast, I really quickly just want to share that your Cosmic Astrology Oracle card deck is now available on Etsy. Um, you get a box. All right, I just want to show you the box there um, that comes with 50 um, cosmically inspired oracle cards. Whoops, they have a holographic uh, finish and beautiful gold edging and a little guidebook. And I've designed these cards because I wanted you to be able to use them as a divination tool. So you can use them like you would a deck of tarot cards. You know, you have something going on, you can pull a card get a message. The messages are written in the book. However, I also want you to be able to use it to learn astrology. So they can also be used as a learning tool. And the guidebook will tell you how to do that. It has some exercises in there to help you turn these into a learning tool so you can learn astrology. Um, and you can also use them to do readings. Oh, it's upside down. You get, um, the cards have this, um, holographic finish. I really wanted to like lean into the cosmic kind of galactic look. Um, they are nice thick card um, and there's 50 of them. So I've included, you know, the typical stuff like the Zodiac, but then also some more, um, you know, obscure mystical things in our cosmic skies like Sirius. There's a couple of other different stars in there. The galactic center is in there. So um, check that out if you would like to get your hands on a deck. Um, they are selling now on Etsy. That's the box. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link in the description box below if you're interested in those. Okay, so now let's get into the energies for our week ahead. Last week, speaking of Sirius, it's the card that popped out. Uh, we had the Sirius Gateway, which was activated last week. What is this? Sirius is uh, a star. It's considered a spiritual sun. Some also consider it the gateway to heaven. It holds a very high frequency, very high vibration. And when it merges with our sun or conjuncts our sun, which happened on July 4th, we get what I like to think of as a rebirth of our spirit energy. We think of our solar system sun and our spiritual sun coming together, fusing their energies together, and it kind of creates this beautiful new beginning, this rebirth energy. And now, really up until August, when we have Lion's Gate, Sirius will slowly be separating from the sun. And when we see Sirius again in the night sky or in our sky, it's moved enough away from the sun. That is what Lion's Gate celebrates, the Lion's Gate portal in August. And that is when the rebirth is officially completed. So we're in the merging phase and then slowly as Sirius starts to become, you know, moves away from the brilliance of the sun and we can see it again, it rises again where the rebirth has been completed. So it's a very powerful time. We tend to feel it the most around the first um, week of July. So really kind of up until the first part of this week. And then it kind of fades into the background and then we'll feel it again when we reach Lion's Gate with that rising of Sirius. So this is a very um, sensitive time. We also last week had the Cancer New Moon on July 5th, and that was also a very sensitive time. So the veil is thin, you know, meaning that we are more sensitive, we're more in tune. Our feeling space can be louder, it can speak to us more strongly. We can feel more in touch with our intuition, but also the energies of the world around us. So I would say as we move into this week, really protecting our energy, focusing on recharging. We're getting that upgrade with that serious gateway, but thinking of ways that we can recharge. So what do I mean by that? Meditating, deep breathing, doing yoga, going for a walk. What makes you plug back into yourself? What kind of things can you do to plug back in, reconnect and feel connected to your divinity? And that really is a question that 
I think is worthwhile exploring as you move through this week and worthwhile answering and doing for yourself as we move through this week because the energies are very sensitive. We are being very um, connected to the higher frequencies and the higher energy. Also, there is a lot of heart healing energy being activated this week as well. Venus is making some moves. Chiron is in there. Venus was active under the new moon. Without going into too much of the astrology, there is beautiful heart activation energy happening as well. Heart healing. Maybe relationships came up for you under that new moon. Maybe um, home and family matters have come up. Maybe you're starting to reflect on what is truly important to you or what is truly calling you in deep within your heart, what really matters at the end of the day. There is this beautiful energy that comes from cancer, it, the cancer zodiac. It's a very heart-centered energy and we can tend to think of that as compassion and sensitivity and love and yes, all that is true, but there's also this fierceness, this confidence, this boldness that can arise as well that lets us know the strength of our heart and where we're really feeling called to go and what we want to stand up for in our lives and what we what that sort of you know strong burning calling or desire is that we have been brought here to do or to move through or to work through that energy can also be activated and i think there's a real power in tapping into that as well so yes, if you're feeling the soft sensitivity, yes, but I would also encourage you to leave some space for that stronger, more like mama bear energy, if you will, that fierceness, that boldness, that confidence that can come when we lead with the heart. Um, I, I moved from Australia to Los Angeles when I was 22 years old. I didn't know a single soul when I came to LA. And when I tell people this story, um, they all say, oh my gosh, you're so brave. And I, I really, yeah, I was, but like I felt so cold and pulled from my heart to do it. I don't think I'm that sort of confident or outgoing in my regular life, but this, it was just something in my heart. And that's what helped me to do the move. I don't think it was necessarily like I was so bold and courageous. I mean, that was a product of that but it came from here. And that's, I haven't really had that feeling a lot in my life, but that is the one time that I really felt pulled and called to do something that was driven by the heart. So I think there are moments and maybe you can resonate with one or two moments in your life where you have felt that as well. But that is kind of the essence of what I'm getting at. Really feeling in touch and connected to the calling of your heart. And from that comes this bravery and this confidence and this determination. So it may manifest a little bit differently, but just something to lean into, leaning into that strength. I hope that makes sense. Finding that heart strength, you know, that love can conquer all kind of energy. Uh, so, yeah, that is really where we're dancing, you know, this week big, these are big energies. It's not that simple. I know this forecast might be short and sweet, but there is a lot that can come up with from that. A lot of, you know, like I mentioned before, Chiron is active. And when Chiron is active, we're getting a lot of healing energy coming up. Chiron's also about to go retrograde. So we're really getting all of this stuff coming up from the surface. And a lot of it is heart related. A lot of it is connected to maybe our home and family life, maybe, um, yeah, the, our calling and our feelings of purpose, so to speak. I hate using that word because I feel like we get stuck. Oh, I've got to like find my purpose. Like your purpose is something that's like outside of you. I really am starting to kind of think more and more that our purpose is just something that is within us and comes out of us rather than it's something that we find. But anyway, so really kind of playing with that energy as we move through this week and just loving being gentle with yourself and really exploring ways that you can plug in and reconnect to your divinity. 
I hope you found that helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you uh, next week. Uh, if you want any more information about the Sirius Gateway, you want to get a head start on all of the astrological alignments for July, you want to read um, your tarot scope, uh, check out foreverconscious.com. It's all up there for you. And I will see you next week. I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.